Good afternoon. Jesus warns people to think carefully before deciding to follow him. It will be like carrying a cross. This is the introduction of a passage I'm reading with you from Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 25 till the end, 34. Read with me in your own Bible, your own language, wherever you are. Luke 14, from verse 25 onwards. And it's the title is The Cost of Being a Disciple. There are many people who want to be saved and go to heaven and be with God and live forever. They are fearful of going to hell. But there are few people who count the cost of being a disciple. Jesus has told us, go and make disciples of every nation. Jesus is looking for people who are serious about following him. Not just to go to heaven one day, but also to live with him on earth and do the work which he uh, told them to do. Look at this. 25, verse 25. Large crowds were traveling with Jesus. He turned and he spoke to them. He said, anyone who comes to me must hate his father and mother. He must hate his wife and children. He must hate his brothers and sisters. And he must hate even his own life. Unless he does, he can't be my disciple. So what does that mean? It really means to give Jesus preeminence in your life as your creator and as your savior, as your Lord and as your friend before anyone else. Do you think this is possible as, as a human being? Putting family second after the one who made you? If Jesus really died for you and me and he loves us, then we probably know the answer. Let's read on. Suppose, Jesus now says in verse 28, somebody wants to build a tower. Won't he sit down? First, and figure out how much it will cost. Then he will see whether he has enough money to finish it. Suppose he starts building and is not able to finish. Then everyone who sees what he has done will laugh at him. They will say, this fellow started to build, but he's not able to finish. Look at this place which was just built here, in the garden. It was not here yesterday. Is here today. They built it overnight. They made a beautiful plan. It's a square and it's something they will put a swimming pool in here. In this beautiful home in Switzerland, Hotwil, the town I was born, everyone is planning well for his life and he does not want to mess up. And you study before you work. You prepare before you enjoy what you've uh, done. So Jesus talks about finishing well, laying a good foundation. He goes on, verse 31. Suppose a king is about to go to war, look, against another king. And suppose he has 10,000 men, while the other has 20,000 coming against him. Won't he first sit down and think about whether he can win? And suppose he decides he can't win. Then he will send some men to ask how peace can be made. He will do this while the other king is still far away. This is wisdom in this world. You go for election if you are sure you can win. You don't want to go when you think you're just participating and you will lose. There's no point on spending all the effort and all the money. So in the same way, verse 33, again we read, you must give up everything you have. If you don't, you can't be my disciple. Salt is good, the Bible says, look. But suppose it loses its saltiness. How? Can it be made salty again? It is not good for the soil, 
and it is not good for the trash pile. It will be thrown out. Those who have ears, they should listen. Have you got ears? Listen to the word of God, my friend. God bless you.